Hawaii. Oh, and now New York. So 12 different states, okay? So some of you may be thinking, well, I don't know if this is for real or not. Okay, so 12 different states all gave me a license. So if it wasn't real, do you think they would actually give me a license if it wasn't real? The federal government also have given me, and Josh, and uh, Lynn, are you securities license yet? Not yet. All right. No? Okay, who's the, who's the other guy securities? Oh, uh, yeah, a couple other guys in this office. The federal government give us securities licenses, okay? All these trillion dollar companies are all doing business with us. So let's just kind of put the rest, whether this is real or not. You know it's real, it's whether you think you could do it or not. Here we go with my story. But become a licensed squad professional with an AZ training program, make your own schedule, become your own boss, and enjoy the tax benefits of owning your own business, all right? If you guys, only, if you guys knew how much in taxes I didn't have to pay last year, okay, you would get sick to your stomach. Legally, by the way, because it's my own business. Not illegally, legally, okay, because it's my own business. I mean, heck, I, I'm, I'm this close to riding off oxygen. That's how much taxes I need to save, okay? <laughs> Well, the government's this close to taxes on oxygen, so I'm this close to writing off oxygen. All right. <clears throat> then we have full-time business owner. What got me excited? I want to be that type. I want, to, I want to have a business. I want to have the ability to be able to actually have my own deal, my own thing. I could build as big as I want it, and as big as my motivation and drive will let me. All right? It's motivation. It's drive. It's, uh, it's uh, focus. All right? It's not going to fall out of the sky. This is not one of those things where it's get rich quick. Okay? You actually have to put some work into it, but the work you put in here versus digging a ditch for 12 hours, I'd rather work here. It's more mental than anything. All right? I, you, know, you guys are looking at a guy who has a Class A driver's license in his wallet. I, I drove truck. My dad owned a trucking company. So I went to one year of college, I played football and Nintendo. That's all I did. All right? Football and Nintendo, and I couldn't stand class, couldn't stand school. It's a funny story. Um, my mom, she went to college, she expected the same thing of me, my dad barely graduated high school, all right? I couldn't stand class, I was never a bad kid, don't get me wrong, I was too afraid of my mom to be a bad kid, but I was not afraid enough of her to get good grades. I hated school, I hated class, I hated homework. I'm 42 years old, I still argue with Mary Jane, who comes with a teaching background, about homework. Why does there have to be homework? I can't stand it. To this day, I still can't stand it. And I went to one year of college, I played football at Nintendo. I told my mom, I said, Mom, I actually hated school more than I love playing football. Okay? And I love playing football, by the way. I called my mom, I said, Mom, school's not for me. I don't want it. She started kind of crying. She, started, she wanted to threaten me. She goes, well, you're not going to go to school. You're not going to become a truck driver. You're going to go to the military. I'm like, cool, all right, I'm ready to go. Because I was, I hated school more than I was going to be afraid of the military, which I'm not afraid of the military, all right? But I said, okay, I'm fine. Let's, let's do it, Mom. She started crying even more because she didn't want me to go to the military. Okay? But now I'm colorblind. I didn't know I was colorblind. And, you know, and the military doesn't want it. The guy pushing the green button instead of the blue button type thing, right? <laughs> so I couldn't go to the military. So here I am, my Class A driver's license. Okay? 18 years ago, driving a truck for Chevron. The safe, secure job at Chevron, all right, hauling gasoline. Down in California, they're hauling 9,000 gallons of gasoline. In Oregon, Washington, they're hauling close to 15,000 gallons of gasoline, all right. A, a moving Roman candle, basically, okay. And had a safe, secure job at Chevron, had a major back injury, had to find something else to do, sure enough, I found this. It's been a blessing ever since. All right, and guess what? Those safe and secure Chevron drivers, all safe and security got laid off about seven, eight years ago. So there's no such thing as safe, secure job anymore. I hope you guys agree with that because it's happening all around us, whether we like to admit it or not. There's no such thing as safe, secure job. There's no such thing as safe, secure pension. Josh showed me this a little bit earlier. Oregon pension, major in the hole, okay? So pen there's no such thing as safe, secure retirement pensions either. No such thing as safe, secure jobs. So we have two choices, either make a change or don't complain. That's just that's the only choices that we have, all right? So we have very compelling reasons that we hope we showed you today on why this would be a good way for you to change, okay? We train from A to Z, we help a lot of families, and we make a lot of money doing it, and we have a lot of fun while we're at it as well, okay? So, quick question. Who's ever been a business owner? Maybe ever been a business owner? All right. All right, so uh, what kind of business have you owned, sir? Printing. 
Printing business? Okay, good stuff. All right, how, and how about, uh, I saw a hand over here too. Yes, what kind of business? I'm an attorney. Attorney, okay, good stuff. All right, so, you know, lots of school. All right, good stuff. And then um, when it comes down to as well, uh, who's ever had like uh, expenses with their business? What kind of expenses? These you don't mind me asking? Didn't make it that far. Oh, okay, all right, all right. All right, I sat down with uh, somebody the other day and they had a uh, construction business that literally they spent, just a small construction business, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars just to have the ability to be able to go swing a hammer on someone else's house, okay? With all the permits and all these different things and all the equipment, stuff like that, all right? Subway sandwiches cost $250,000 to buy a Subway, all right? Pan Express, $400,000. 7-Eleven. There's plenty of them here in Bend as well. Seventy-five thousand dollars to buy a Seven Eleven. All right. So let me. Quick, so all the stuff we just told you about here, all the platform I just showed you. Okay. Oops. All the platform I just showed you here. With all that. <laughs> it's coming. Okay. With all that. How much do you think that business costs? A lot of people. I, I had one guy yesterday said last night. So it's got to be at least hundred thousand dollars. Well, no, it's kind of embarrassing. It's a hundred bucks and a couple of licenses to get on board a firm, okay? And your license is to keep. So a hundred bucks, a couple of licenses. I don't know how much it costs to become an attorney, okay? With schooling and licensing and everything else. But here to do this is a hundred bucks, a couple of licenses. We won't give everybody a chance. We don't give anybody the excuse to say that I can't afford it, okay? Looks like we all have enough gray hair in here to know that we should be able to afford a hundred bucks. If you can't, then you need, really need this business, okay? So it's just a matter of you making that choice. So on the clipboards, like Len said, there's a list of websites. Also, there's a questionnaire sheet, all right? I want you to please go ahead and fill out the questionnaire sheet real quick. And just tell us what you thought. Maybe I yelled too much. Maybe uh, Josh made you mad. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, everybody... Uh... <clears throat> Are you gonna Are you gonna write on the board? A little bit, yeah. But we're gonna listen to audio first. Okay. You're right-handed or left-handed? Right. Okay. Professional <laughs> production. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. Well, we had to. Uh, we had to find something that would fit my iPhone because this office full of uh, Android users. So. You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. No. Oh, well, yeah. But, 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 but it's pretty funny, though, because on, on every plane I've been on in the past three weeks, they said when we go in, uh, no, all you Samsung users, <laughs> please power off your phone. Yeah. Do not plug in. We get, they're catching on fire. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, serious? Yeah. Oh, I hadn't heard that. They're catching oh, on fire right now. Uh, Did you see the update on that? Uh-uh. 26 of the reports were false. Oh, yeah? A couple of them weren't even Samsung phones. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah, doubt I it. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, uh, just, like, just like WFG. Yeah, yeah, we're going out of business, stuff like yeah, that, yeah. so on and so forth, right? Well, I had the Note 7. Right. The one that was... About an hour or so of training, if that. Um, we want to make sure that we're talking to a lot of people and, uh, and uh, getting a couple of different things here to you guys. But um, Seattle's going great. Uh, even with the cat away today, uh, the mice uh, still were there. Um, we, had, uh, we had about 15 agents and uh, five guests. On Tuesday nights, usually we're, we're getting up to about, uh, about 30 people showing up. We went from four to 30. Um, lots of happening up there. So um, mm -hmm. glad, glad to be down here, though. Come down and, and uh, get some sun. Yeah, yeah, get some sun. It was cloudy this morning when we left, although I was telling the... Uh, Oh, Mike here that uh, I don't think it rains in Seattle. Everybody's been lying to us all this time. Uh, I don't think I don't think it rains. To tell you the truth. You kind of recruit for Seattle. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think they've been lying to us this whole time. But uh, they said, well, we'll just wait till winter time. Well, we get to escape. We get to go to trips, you know, or come down here or Cancun or Hawaii or, or what have you. And so we get to escape it. But people, I guess, who are stuck up there, I guess winter's going to be extremely long. Extremely long. So, uh, but yeah, great place to be, and Mary Jane and I are definitely excited about the Northwest. Um, talking with a couple of guests here today, uh, you know, a lot, lot of, a uh, lot of potential here in Bend, no doubt about it. We want to make sure. I was talking to Len when we over. We want to make sure that uh, that we get into the recruiting mentality, and sure enough, um, we have some uh, some players 
in uh, SMDs that have been hitting up um, different professionals, uh, different professional organizations, different prof uh, professions, I should say. And um, it's funny because we worry about what the Starbucks barista says. You know, we worry about her saying no. You know, we're worried about the, the guy that broke down a car in his lawn telling us it's a scam, stuff like that, so on and so forth. But the professionals seem to be gobbling up what we do, our product and our opportunity. Okay? I mean, they're, without hesitation, they're gobbling up what we have. Okay? It's a broke nigga and skeptical that are having a tough time uh, believing what we do, even though we're licensed, even though we got this, we got that, we got this. It's a broken and skeptical that, uh, that that have a tough time what we do, but we tend to be talking to too many. Would you guys agree? Too many broken and skeptical. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. Reasons why is because our identity is not high enough. Okay. Our identity is not high enough. Uh, we're not taking the risk of talking to people with a little more higher identity. We tend, to, as human beings, we tend to attract ourselves to more people who are younger than us or in less financial status than us because we tend to have that authority over them. So it's easier for us to be able to talk to people who may not be as well off as we are or younger than we are, okay? And that's the wrong way of doing it. We need to talk to people who are higher identity. We need to be recruiting up, okay? By recruiting up, you'll get more quality, okay? Now, mind you, don't forget about the truck driver. Don't forget about the plumber. Okay, don't forget about the, the, the grocery store worker, okay? But then we shouldn't be worried about the barista. We shouldn't be worried about the 19-year-old hostess at, uh, you know, uh, Red Robin. We shouldn't be worried about those types, okay, telling us no. We shouldn't be worried about the broke joker who hasn't worked in years telling us no. And too often, that's exactly what we do. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. We tend to worry about what other people think and we shouldn't be, all right? But the doctors we're talking to, the lawyers we're talking to, all right? The CPAs we're talking to, the, the high identity professionals, they're gobbling up what we have right and left without hesitation, okay? And sure enough, there's a kid, and he is a kid, he's 21, okay? It's been a while since most of us in this room has been 21. You know, Joni's been just a couple of years ago, maybe. But it's been a while since most of us in this room have been 21. And this 21-year-old kid in the last 60 days has made $60,000. Hmm. Okay? And I recorded him, Eric Olson, at the last s d meeting, brought him up on stage. And it was okay, Daniel. Why don't you go ahead and tell all these 30, 40, 50-year-old s and a lot of them are not doing the, near what you're doing. Why don't you tell them your mentality, what you're doing, stuff like that. All right? So it's about 15, 20 minutes of questions and answer. I want you to listen to his mentality. I want you to listen to his, his confidence. I want you to listen to uh, what he says, okay? And you'll, you'll find out what he says. As a 21-year-old, he he's telling people, I'm not talking to anybody less, that make less than $100,000 a year, okay? This is one of the things he said. I'm not talking to anybody that makes less than $100,000 a year. He goes, yeah, we're here to help all families, but not at the sacrifice of our own family.